Radiant Team, Baron. Ten seconds remaining. Dire Team, Pick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Team Secret versus Empire Finals here at the Mars TV Dota 2 League with myself, Odie Pixel, and for this game, I will indeed be joined by Young Gods himself. So let's get him, let's get him on the line, let's get him into the game as we're ready to get this draft underway. The band so far, Dazzle and I are being taken out by the side of Secret Empire. They take out the Tusk, of course, and the Chen. First pick for Secret, once again, it's going to be the Zy Clock. Work. And gods, what do we reckon to that one, my friend? Well, it's a pretty open opening from Team Secret. I think they just like it because it fits anything. I mean, Winter kind of talked about Clockwork last game where it doesn't really bottleneck them into doing one thing, but it can be aggressive. It doesn't need a lot of farm. Last game, Clockwork had the lowest net worth on their team at one point. And the big problem here is for Empire is the two big heroes left in the pool is Shadowfiend and Leshrac, and they can't really pick both of those together. It's kind of revealing too much. They both want to go mid lane. Um, I guess Leshrac can run safe lane, but Secret are pretty certain that they'll get either the Lesh or the Shadowfiend when they open with Clockwork, and I imagine this will be a second pick Lesh for Team Secret now with it still in the pool. Yeah, absolutely. Artor's performance on that in the first, uh, well, the second game of the series was pretty, pretty spectacular, and here we go. Second pick for Secret. This, of course, is going to be the winning game for Secret if they can take it. Empire, as you've been saying to me in chat, gods, they are a bit of the they're, they're the comeback kings. If there was ever a team to take this game away and swing the series background in their favor, it would be Empire. But so far in the first two games, it just seems like Team Secret have been outplaying Empire for the most part. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Empire, their run through the playoffs was losing game one, then winning the best of three, taking the next couple of games. But the fashion which they lost those first two games was very one-sided. And we'll see Secret not grab the left track. They're actually going to go for Arteezy's Gyrocopter instead. Uh, a kind of variation of what they've done in the past. And I think partly the main reason I think this would be is because they are in the diet. Leshrac isn't quite a dominant in the, diet in the mid lane. The mid lane is slightly favorable towards... just want to mix things up as they go from game to game. And the ban for the secret, they're taking out the AA, of course, with the Rubik, a uh, very likely partner for uh, the side of Empire to grab. And the Rubik, of course, a very strong hero for Empire. Low Heart Dance, we've seen him do some magical things on the Rubik in previous games. So we'll see what he's able to bring to the fray this match. And the ban from Empire, they're taking out the S4 Quop. And very understandable seeing S4's recent, well, not just recent, just all-time performances on the hero. It's a very scary kind of hero player matchup. Yeah, and uh, I like the clinks ban as well. Secret saying, look, no shenanigans from you guys here in uh, Game 3. We're just going to ban out some of those more cheesy and gimmicky picks that they could have thrown at them. So uh, what's left in the pool is, I mean, pretty open for Puppy as well as Kuro, especially most of their heroes still in the pool. They want to go Bounty Hunter, it's still available, although that's maybe a possible ban from Empire. Bounty always good and poses a lot of pressure onto the Shadow Fiend with his gank potential. Puppy's heroes are mostly still in the pool. You've got the Crystal Maiden. Oh, I was about to say, Keeper Light's on the pool, as is the uh, Enigma, but I don't think you necessarily want to Enigma against Rubik. You still can. I mean, last game, there was Eventual Spirit, and he said, I don't care if you can swap to cancel my Black Hole. This hero is just good for his jungle farming and the fact he can buy a fast mech or a fast pipe for the team. So I think just because Rubik's being picked up, if Secret want Enigma, they'll still pick it. Okay, third pick here for the side of Empire. Let's see what they want to pick up as their partner for the Rubik. Obviously, Secret being aware that they might have gone for that, eh? Taking that away from them. What are Empire left with? I mean, looking what's also available for the team. Is there any kind of hero that comes to mind that you feel that Empire might want to grab? I mean, heroes like the Witch Doctor that we've seen them run before, potentially? Um, I think with Empire, the Storm... The Storm Spirit did not work out well for them in game one, although it is something they like to run on silent and may look to do so again. I think last game they just had the worst possible start imaginable. Giving up first blood, losing the bounty runes, Zai getting a solo kill in the offline on Storm Spirit, just things that shouldn't be happening. So 
I could see them still considering that. Outside of that, looking towards Yoku's heroes. So the Sand King and Earthshake are the two big ones there for the offlane that he likes to play. The worry is if you pick something like that, then Secret again go for that lane dominator. They've got the Gyrocopter. They can get they can go greedy again. When you have a weak laning hero like Sand King or Earthshaker, that's where getting an Enigma can really pay off. So I think Empire may be hesitant in picking up a passive offlaner for Yoku this early on in the draft, and more likely will pick up their support partner like the Disruptor again. Um, if they want to pair the Disruptor with the Rubik, or they'll pick up Silence Hero. And there, there we go. It's going to be a Witch Doctor. You mentioned this hero and okay. it comes out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we see it picked up a lot, of course, with heroes like the Shadow Fiend. You know, it allows him in these fights to go a little bit ham in the mid game. You've got that Voodoo Restoration. And also in lane as well. I mean, the Rubik Witch Doctor matchup is going to be very nice. And obviously being two strong range supports as well, you should be able to deal with the Clockwork if that is the lane that you end up going against. Yeah, I, one of the better zoning safe lane supports. You can even get the Maledict level one if you want to really put on a lot of pressure. So, also just doesn't reveal too much. And I think picking up two supports early doesn't let Secret know what kind of offline they're picking up for Yoku, whether it's going to be something kind of more teamfight initiation oriented, even though that is normally their style. Also, still very open in that Witch Doctor Rubik very suitable towards an aggro tri-lane against the gyrocopter yeah gyrocopter packs a punch and if he gets in close can get kills quickly but these are two 600 range heroes you pair it up with another ranged hero and you aggro tri-lane gyrocopter can't really run into last hit because his range just is not suitable for last hitting against a rubik who can telekinesis pull him in into a cask and into some other damage coming out from whatever empire's last pick could be so i think empire could be toying with the idea of doing an aggro tri-lane with this draft of theirs Okay, I mean, if that is the situation, Secret, obviously, we saw them pick up heroes like the Bounty Hunter and uh, make a lot of things happen with that. Do you feel there's a space for the Bounty potentially again this game or is Secret going to look elsewhere? Well, they're going to pick up the Puppy CM now as the third pick. And, yeah. and it's, it's very refreshing as well. Not a lot of teams that I can think of other than Secret that have been running Crystal Maiden and obviously Puppy having a lot of a lot of good fortune with it. And Empire now, they're going to pick up the hero for Silent and they grab themselves the Juggernaut. Yeah, so there's your... Your strong safe lane farmer for Silent Pulse. As I mentioned, I think still the aggro trial impossible, and that's where Secret, worried about the aggro trial lane, didn't go greedy this game. They see Rubik, Witch Doctor, and they're thinking, okay, if they aggro trial lane and we pick up the bounty hunter, the, the Enigma, we get punished in the laning stage. They have Gyrocopter as their safe lane farmer who isn't as stable in the lane as a Razor is, so they need to pick up some strong actual laning support. So I think CM was picked up part, partially for that reason, and uh, they could fit in the Bounty Hunter, I think, for Kuro if they want to, but they may even be thinking about getting uh, a hero that has some additional laning presence because of the the worry that Empire are going to get aggressive and look to punish the lanes of uh, Team Secret here. So we'll see what Secret have in mind. Uh, they also still need their mid laner for S4, uh, and it's pretty open as far as what they could get for him. Uh, the Bristleback's still there, Razor's still available. Um, even the Brewmaster comes up every now and then for S4 if they want something with a bit more teamfight control. But they've got a, a very solid draft, a very secret draft so far. And it is going to be the Naga Siren Kuroki support, I'd imagine, seeing uh, Secret picking yeah. that one up. So, obviously, we saw that, uh, I believe, yeah, it was in the quarterfinal, the semifinals, sorry. And it was incredibly successful there for Kuroki. He had a ridiculous amount of farm. He was able to get the Guardian Grease pretty, pretty quickly into the game. So, yeah, Naga support, Secret bringing it back this year. Yeah, they have been. This is like kind of flashback to what Alliance used to do a bit at TI3, and S4 knows all about the power of the support Naga Siren, so... Very tanky support, and this is something where I think it's very handy to have in the laning stage, and also just Song of the Siren has so much utility, not just to, the carry Naga knows how to use Song to use Song and TP the hell out away from a five-man gank, but the support Naga, it's a lot more nuances within what you can get done with this. You can set up, we've seen them set black holes with it, we've seen them use it to focus down a tombstone and then fight outside of the tombstone. Uh, you can really use this to reset during a fight and make things go a lot smoother for you in the middle of a, a chaotic and hectic team fight. Uh, I, talking about kind of the setup potential, so I guess we are expecting it to be the Arteezy Gyro, so we're still looking for S4's hero. Now, is there anyone that kind of comes to mind that Team Secret might pick up to utilize that song to set up for the big Wombo uh, combos in these fights? I don't feel like there's any crazy AoE combo they're going to look to mm. combine with the Naga Sign. I could be wrong on that, but I think they're more likely they're going to get a secondary frontline core to go with the gyrocopter um razor and viper are the two that come to mind maybe we see another razor yes, pick from yeah. s4 they yeah, also don't yeah. have a mech buyer at the moment unless clockwork's going to go for mech for the team which is possible but unlikely i'd say so if they want to mech, something like a razor could fit in nicely 
Okay. I mean, Empire's draft as well, obviously looking very strong. The push and the sustain that they're going to have is going to be very nice. And, and I kind of feel like they've done this around what Team Secret banned out. Obviously, when they picked up the Rubik, Secret banned out the AA. But then that, of course, meant that Empire could go for this draft where they're going to have the Voodoo Restoration, they're going to have the Healing Ward. And the hero that essentially can just straight away stop that kind of push isn't even going to be in the pool at all. So Empire, in terms of, yeah, when they start to get the push on, do you feel Secret with their lineup are going to be able to deal with it and able to kind of defend at the earlier stage? I think it really depends on their last pick. If they get something like a Razor or a Brewmaster for S4, they'll have the ability to fight into Team Initiation from a Brew. Uh, similarly with the Razor, Razor can do. Space Cow, Spirit Breaker makes an appearance. Okay. Okay, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine so. And uh, well, fairly nice to get some of the heroes on the side of the die. You know, Jaro, yeah, even when he gets the BKB, still mm. kind of a, a bit of a glass cannon. And final pick for Secret, they're going to pick up, up the Bristle Bat. So, yeah, uh, as we see the uh, heroes be being the, selected, yeah, uh, I'd imagine it's going to be the Bristle Bat in the mid, as we've seen Secret then. do before. I, I guess. Play mid with something like a CM plus Gyrocopter, but it seems and strong to just oh okay, yeah 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 the bristle back there yeah secret of course as always switching it around a bit we'll see what they do decide to end up in terms of laning phase and and empire i'm pretty much on the heroes that we expected them to be it will indeed be resolution on that mid lane on the shadow fiend silent on the jug and your witch, Dr. Rubik, being handled by Always Want to Fly, Lower Dance, Shoku on the offlane on the Spirit Breaker. But ladies and gentlemen, this is the final... Well, not, well <laughs> if Secret win it, this could be the last match of the Mars Dota TV League. But Empire, they're going to want to try and swing this one back. And they're going to give it their all here to turn the 2-0 into a 2-1. We'll see who's able to come out, out on top. And indeed, yeah, it's going to be... For picking up that bristle back as we get ourselves into this game, ladies and gentlemen. It's myself, OD Pixel, joined by Gods here for this match. And well, let's get it underway. And in terms of the drafts, what are kind of your opening feelings and thoughts looking at what both teams have brought to this game, the odds? I think Empire have gone very standard and safe with their draft, which I think any other any other team, any other time, I'd say great, this works good in Empire's favour, but they've just been crushed two games in a row going for their mostly standard draft. So I feel like maybe they're just thinking, okay, let's just keep going safe. But when you get stomped as hard as you do, I feel like they had to go maybe a bit more unorthodox with their picks. And this is almost playing into Secret's hands because they've done nothing that's going to catch Secret by surprise. Um, maybe we're going to see some different movements coming in from the supports, like pick up some early smokes, try and go for a lot of early ganks and rotations, and use the Spirit Breaker effectively in a similar fashion. But I think for the most part, Secret has been able to beat Empire playing their standard game. And the fact that Empire have just gone for... A similar standard draft makes me worry for their chances here in game three. Yes, indeed. I mean, in terms of the lanes, the lanes are going to be fairly strong for the side of Empire, don't you feel? But I guess at the same time, Secret, they're not really the easiest of heroes to kind of kill. I mean, the easiest would be arguably Puppy CM, but we've seen Puppy on the Crystal Maiden, you know, he just kind of hangs back, plays it careful, makes the pulls in the jungle, and uh, very rarely gets caught out of position in the earlier stages of the game, so... Empire, they're certainly going to have to bring that A game here if they want to have a hope of taking down Secret, especially as seeing a Secret. I don't know what the exact number is, but it must be at least about 15 games. The last 15 competitors, they haven't dropped a single game. You know, it, that's within the series. They've just not, no one's been able to take them down at all. So, I mean, it's going to be quite something for Secret if they can continue that streak, but it's also going to make people uh, kind of raise their eyebrows at Empire if they are able to stop Secret yeah. in their tracks. That's a thing. Secret has, if they win this land, that will be three lands in a row, including the Summit as well as Red Bull Battlegrounds. They've gone undefeated here in China as well, which is something yeah. no one's done since Alliance back at, I think it was the G1 League a couple of years ago, where they had a huge streak. That was back when they, the year they won TI3. Before TI3, they went to China, went undefeated in the land, and that to me is what that secret reminds me of right now. They're reminding me of 2013 Alliance with their current form. They look unstoppable when they're playing well, when they're getting... I mean, it's not even about getting their heroes. They have a backup. You ban out one hero of theirs, they have a replacement for it. They have, it seems like they have a set kind of quote-unquote small hero pool, but you can't ban out everything. They'll always get one of two or three heroes for each player. 
And I, I've just noticed, actually, it's worth, uh, worth pointing out. Um, I think the score might be wrong at the top, might it, God? So I think the admins might have messed that one up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately for Empire fans, no. That, that's that's not the yeah. score. <laughs> it's not the score indeed. So uh, yeah, apologies to everyone, uh, of course, in Dota TV and watching on the stream. Classic. That score is wrong. It's two zero to secret. Looks like the admins might have uh, another agenda behind their things and some beautiful drawings here being done courtesy of mainly Zai. I think there's uh, oh yeah, there's falls chipping in there and uh, also resolution joining it. Uh, it's mainly Zai. Oh, here we go. We've got a little bit of message coming out. Z Z Zlusha? Dead. Someone's dead. <laughs> According to... Uh, Someone, someone's saying no <laughs> to the drawings. One. Whoever, uh, Aloha Dance is like, nope, no yeah. one gets to draw on this mini-map. I'm going to cover everything oh, up. Oh, yeah, is it... Is this Aloha Dance or, uh, or a Zai? Actually, I think you're right, yeah, it's Aloha Dance. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the light yellow. The, yellow. the yellow is a... Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. It... <laughs> yeah. Rip Sing Sing. There we go. We're good to go. The G's been called by RTZ. Let's see the side of Empire ready. Apparently not. They were too busy, too busy scribbling. They just got to kind of uh, regain themselves, here and we should be able to get ourselves back up. But anyway, let's let's talk, let's talk about the lane. So resolution in the mid lane, it is going to be up against this bristleback, and and I mean, in, in your eyes, how does the bristleback do against the shadow fiend? Right into this, I missed the days. Of Indeed, and well, we're going to see both sides just positioning themselves around their respective runes. As Secret will be able to secure the top, and Empire will be able to clean the bottom. Both of the offlaners keep themselves right out of any potential fight. And Dina, so we're trying to do his best with the course space to keep resolution far out. Top lane, Yoku having to deal with the Kuroki and RTZ dual lane here. And uh, this is all oh, yeah, straight away with the bash there. Rocket Barrage coming back through onto Yoku. And we'll be able to force back the Spirit Breaker and Yoku taking a fair bit of damage there. But he's got a salve, he's got four tangos. He, he's prepared for this kind of harassment. There's your second rocket barrage here. Yoku's just got to be careful. Backing off here. They're going to try and give him the old run down. There's going to be another riptide here in a second. Yoku could be in a lot of trouble. There's your second rocket barrage, and that is going to be your first blood going the way of Artor there. And at the same time, it looks like bottom lane, Empire did find the kill onto Clockwork, but Secret peeping them to it and ensuring that they are the side that claims the first blood bonus. Rotation potential from a crystal maiden. Silent? Yeah, he's... Empire. <laughs> that was, I mean, <laughs> they were hanging around on incredibly low health there. I think Empire just underestimating the uh, the killing potential. Yoku's dead having to charge away from the top lane. Actually charging towards the mid. Oh, he's going to be lucky there. Finds himself a regen rune. He's going to be happy with that one. But two for one at the moment, favoring the side of Secret. 
And uh, so far, I mean, Zai, how's he doing in terms of zoning out the uh, juggernaut? Pretty well, in fact, keeping on par with the CS of this silent juggernaut. Probably. I mean, it's maybe bit. Really worth it because it's first blood, but he took so much damage as did the Rubik to get that kill. So I think they almost overcommitted HP and mana to get the kill on Clockwork, whereas Secret were much more efficient with the way they killed Yoki and Top. And that's where Clockwork's able to come back in the lane, get another kill, and just compete for farm. The fact that Clockwork is getting this much CS helps him out a ton going into the mid game. Right, this is going to be a very healthy clock indeed. Towards the mid, we're seeing Aloha Dance just making the stacks here for resolution. And in terms of CS, he's doing really well in the mid lane. They're pretty even at the moment. 15 for 5, 13 for 2, but resolution there with a slight edge against S4. And the other big thing is right now, Puppy has been able to just jungle away on Crystal Maiden. He's hit level 3, which is his second point in Brilliance Aura, or Arcane Aura actually, as it's now called. And this just gives a big boost to the mana of all three lanes. It helps out S4 sustain his Quill Harass, it helps out Zai, keep spamming out Rocket Flares, Cogs in the off lane. Barrages and Riptides in the safe lane. All these heroes benefit a lot from the early points in the... And again, Yoku trying to do his best here to find the XP okay, that he can. But Kuroki and Puppy, they're ready with the wraparound. Yoku could be in trouble. He has got a charge, but Puppy, he's going to be there ready and waiting to cancel it if it comes out. I think Yoku realizes he's already dead, and he certainly will go down. Arteezy there getting a second kill in this safe lane. And things looking very healthy for the side of Secret in this early game. Oh, yeah, talking about the CM, very nice pick off there from Empire. They do run into Puppy at the uh, at the rune, and they might even find more as well. Charge from Yoki, this is going to be big for Empire, finding two kills, and it is a double kill going the way of Resolution on the Shadow Fiend. So very nice for Empire to find those here around the rune spot. Well, that's some uh, turnaround gold going his way, and this is a Shadow Fiend. He doesn't even need to win Look. the mid lane. He always has the jungle turnaround oh. farm. Bottom lane, Maledict, it's going to be enough to Zai to pop, and Empire, well, they're saying, well, Secret, you might have had a good start, but we're ready to turn around in your face and getting some very, very tasty kills on both of the cores here. Wow, yeah, that's that's huge, killing off S4 and Zai, so at this point, it's only Arteezy as far as the Secret cores without a death to his name, and Arteezy's solving a great time, Aquila and Phase Boots online, but... Uh, they need to be careful about what they do, I think especially as for in the mid lane. Clockwork, if he's trading a death hero there to get levels and um, at least contest the farm with the Juggernaut, it's going okay. Hits him with another Cogs and Zai is most of the way to level 6 now, so he's getting uh, very close to having Hookshot online. Actually goes in on bottom lane, Silent went for a deny here and Zai tries to punish here with a battery assault but didn't quite have the damage out for it. Mid lane, the damage is enough. Resolution on a killing spree with the setup from Aloha Dance was able to finish off the bristle back. And again, Secret giving away these kills that Empire, I mean, the fact that Resolution three kills in now before the six minute mark and his CS looking pretty tasty as well. Shadow Fiend having a very nice start to this game. Oh, yeah, this has been a, a great matchup for him. They'll secure him the six minute rune as well. Even brought in Spirit Breaker and Rubik in case anything funny happened and they needed the backup there, but. For now, it's Arteza who's rotated bottom, has cooldown available, but he's been scouted out. They've got the Radiant Ward on the lane, so they know he's down here, and this is not going to lead to a kill on Silent. He just backs off. He's going to farm the jungle. Actually going to go for a pull here instead to get the weight back to his tower, and that's wasted time for the Arteza gyrocopter. And this is smart move here from Empire. Resolution Aloha does both smoked up. They realize that whoever's here is on their own. They know that Kuroki's alone. He's level four, nowhere near the Song of the Siren. And if they can find a charge, this Naga Siren is, is pretty much gonzo. Resolution and Lower Dance looking to get themselves in a position. It's going to be the illusion. They're not going to jump on that. They know, they know which one's real. They're going to go in for it. The Fade Bot's going to reveal the real Kuroki. And they're trying to move in, but there's not enough mana in fact for the Telekinesis. Now Zai coming in with a hook shot. Cogs are going to get dropped as well. There's your Telekinesis. What the heck is going on? Kuroki walks out of it. Perfect world servers bringing that fight to you here. Live and proud here. Secret versus Empire. But Empire, they don't find the kill, but they do get themselves out. And all in all, nice TP from Zai really saving the, saving the shot there. We almost lose the Shadow Fiend to a Riptide Illusion as well, but Resolution TP's home just in time. 
Secret uh, posturing near this mid lane. They're looking for a kill, maybe a Courier Snipe, but they get down a deep Observer Ward behind the tier 1 mid tower and also block off the the big camp for the oh, Shadow Fiend. Oh, Doctor. They're all rotating around onto him. There's nowhere for him to run. Arteezy will be able to claim that one with the heroes around the mid lane from Secret. And now, onto the tier 1 here, Secret. They're going to start to try and get a push on of their own. Yeah, Resolution discovered that his big camp had been either taken or blocked out by a sentry ward, and with a charge, he wants to go in on Arteezy. Yeah, the bash getting S4. The, oh, nicely done from Puppy, holding back the charge, but it looks like S4, he's going to be the sacrificial lamb here as he does go down. That's going to be another kill here for your Shadow Fiend. Resolution now dominating oh, bottom, here in the mid lane. They've gone in on Zai, cast to lead things off with a Blade Fury, and I think Zai's done for. He's going to take Absolutely, down. the bounces, the maledict. It's all too much for this clockwork. And at the same time, mid lane, the fight's continuing. Yoko wants to try and find more here, going in onto Puppy. There's a telekinesis from Aloha Dance. The raises fly for as well. Another kill for Empire. Three heroes on the sideline for Secret. RTZ is coming in with a cooldown. He's not going to want to chase that, though, as he is all alone. And Empire. Gotta be, I've got to say, they've been looking the strongest this game than they have all series. This is a very healthy start for Empire. Eight to four at the moment. Yeah. Important to note is it's a bit reminiscent of the uh, Cloud9 game 2 against Secret the other day. The kills were going Cloud9's way. Looking at the raw CS, all five Secret... Oh. Not really a huge lead oh, for him. He's coming in there with a the hastry in bottom lane. Uh, so he's got to be careful. He's come down here to try and find some farm silent. He does have the Omni Slash available here with a low hard dance to the sideline. At the same time, top lane, Kuroki. He's taking use of this free lane. He's found himself level six and just applying some pressure now to this tier one. RTZ trying to take down the tier one here in the mid lane. And there's your hook shot from Dice. Trails of Resolution. They've got the cooldown as well. This is a massive value kill. He's on a streak and RTZ will be able to end it. Gets himself the goal for that one. There will be a charge coming on onto RTZ. He's trying to find more here with the rocket barrage. Onto Aloha does the <laughs> telekinesis. It's not enough. He goes down. RTZ will get a double kill. Looks like he will almost certainly pay for his life. And he does go down. Zion S4 trying to see if they can find more. Death Ward now for Boy. Always want to fly. And the Cox from Zai actually holding it near the Death Ward. Zai's going to go down. The charge from Ayoki bringing S4 back. Can they find this kill? No, they can't. Yoki will go down. And now suddenly he's still got this Omni Slash. Wants to find something. Probably doesn't want to use on Puppy. Puppy looking for the Ancient Deny. S4 will get himself out of the side. He does use the Omni Slash there to secure the kill. Ensure that the Deny won't be there from the Ancients. And a bit of a hectic fight there going in between the two sides. But I think at the end of it... I, I, well, let's have a look at the fight recap. See what the numbers say. Oh, the fight recap, as always, not a lot of use. Uh, but uh, who came out? Yeah. Oh. Uh, he's all alone and oh, whoa, gets a little charge out, but it's a, a charge to his own own deathbed as he will be taken down there by the side of Secret. We see Empire, they're heading towards this bottom lane. They want to contest this bottom uh, tower push. They will have Yoki back up in 14 seconds. Zai leading the way, doesn't have the hook shot, of course. Did use it for that kill. And the floor will just actually cause resolution and lower dance to, to back themselves up silence still just here on the front lines doesn't have the omni slash to use and i don't know if they can stop this there's going to be a tp in now coming from the witch doctor but silent by right, saying a hefty bit of rocket barrage and he was always one of the he's got the death one and he lays it down out easy he's almost certainly gonna pop yes he will that's gonna be one kill they got the fresh for as well bring it back here with the telekinesis can he get himself out oh he's trying to there's gonna be a requiem of for resolution catching zai here as is still alive trying to run away silent moving forward but he doesn't have the omni slash we're gonna see resolution trying to bring down Zai here with the raises. The die from Empire is really low. Yoki charging forward, but Puppy is able to hold back the Spirit Breaker. There's your Nether Strike. Onto the CM. The song comes out for Kuroki, but it's too late. The Blade Fury, it might just kill him. No, Kuroki will get out. But Empire again, this is the kind of CIS aggression that we expect from the team, and it seems to be just a little bit too much for Secret. And, well, 13 to 8. Let's have a look at that fire recap this time. Volvo, we're on point, and we can see the lead there. About a 1K in terms of gold. And oh, Sai hits out. a oh, hello. What is going on? He hit on? that Zai mid charge! Yoki was charging <laughs> the top lane and Zai just intercepted him with the hook shot. Oh, Zai. Well then, that is quite the play coming out from Clockwork.
Well, yeah, indeed. I mean, it enables them to find a kill off the... Uh, kind of making the best of a bad situation there for Secret. Uh, seeing uh, side of Empire, Silent always want to fly lower dance. They can let's take this tier one. Can Secret do anything about it, though? Kuroki, in terms of builds, he's got his arcane boots, he's working towards that mech. We'll probably see him pick up the early Guardian Greaves like he did before when playing the Naga support. Fortification will come out. There's going to be a TP as well, and it looks like Empire, they don't want to hang around for this. They realize they need to get themselves out, but there is no hook shot, of course, yet again from Zai, as Empire will be able to get themselves away. And also Kuroki getting the deny there on the tower. Puppy. 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 He's in a bit of trouble here. There's a charge coming through. I think this might be the last of the CM we'll see for a good 15 seconds or so. He's going to turn around with a freeze. He's looking for the ultimate. He still gets it out, of course. And the final bash there, a bit of a BM bash from Yoku, bringing down the puppy CM. Okay, so Empire still holding pretty strong here. That bottom team fight, though, I feel like they, I mean, they won it, but it, it was so close to being like four or five kills. All the three living heroes, the Naga lived down about 100 HP, the Bristleback barely survived, the Clockwork barely barely survived as well and unfortunately for empire it's just the two kills and then they end up losing the spirit breaker but it's still empire the ones who kind of have better control over this game they're pushing down towers now with the tier one bottom going down unfortunately they couldn't get all the full money for it as it did get denied but uh, across the board it is secret playing somewhat on the back foot here at least i, I feel like Artizi really needs to rush his bkb this game to stand a chance at fighting into team empire yeah, and we're getting to this point now. I mean, you were saying earlier the kind of the fights were favoring Empire, but the farm was favoring Secret. Now at this point, you know, in terms of uh, overall net worth, it's fairly even, but the individual net worth on the cores is certainly favoring the side of Empire with both uh, Resolution and Silence sitting at the top at the moment at over 6k net worth. And they might find Kuroki here. He has got the... Well, no, he's not got the Sword Siren actually for 30 seconds. Kuroki's in a lot of trouble. Deathlord will get laid down, and that will be your Naga Siren falling here on the top lane to the rotation here of these two supports. And there's a charge going mid. Well, it's going to be held back here by Yoki. Doesn't want to follow free, but 16 to 9 still. And each of these trades just bringing Empire that little bit ahead of oh, Secret. And bottom lane, hello, there's your Omni Slash. is a big one going for it on Tarzizi. Zai's there with the hook shot. Holding back Silent. Maybe Secret can turn this one around. There is going to be anyone else Shadow coming in from Empire? No, because. <laughs> oh, that's Shadow Amulet just saved his life there. He wants to keep fighting as well. Yoku going straight on to Arteezy. The Rocket Barrage doing a lot of damage. Arteezy, could he get this kill? No. Arteezy will get taken down to the bash there from Yoku. Silent moving in as well with a healing ward. They're trying to keep Yoku alive. Yoku's going to survive. He hides himself in the tree line. The Illusions will find him out here. He will go down. Zai, he's trying to keep himself up here with the Blade Mail. Now it's four. Trying to clear out Silent. Get the Shadow Ramion. It's going to be enough. It's not going to be enough this time. And this time, Secret taking the trade two for one resolution. He's got an Invis ring. Does he want to do something here? Does he want to reveal himself? There's a lot of heroes on the side of Secret. This could be a bit of a risky play here from Resolution. It's wearing off soon. He's got to go if he wants to go soon. Puppy going to be the one he runs into. He winds oh. up. I don't think he gets it. Double raise. Doesn't get it. Oh, the song there stopping the last race flying through and now Resolution. I mean, it was a bit of a buzzword. He's got a low hard dance backing him up. Coming in with a fade bomb. Maybe they can kind of find Kuroki. Kuroki will not get away. The raise finishes him off. And now, here's Artor. He's ready to try and clean up both a low hard dance and resolution. A low hard dance will go down. Resolution trying to cover with the raise on test 4. It's not enough. Artor cleans up with a double kill there. And Secret, they're looking for more. Hookshot. Artor's always want to fly. He's hanging around here on the sidelines in the trees. He gets a maledict to the paralyzing cast count, but it's not enough. Witch Doctor to fall as well. And Secret finding three kills there on the bottom lane off the back of, well, resolution. Just going for a very greedy play there with that invis ring. Yeah. He kind of rushed it. The invis was wearing off and it was just a crystal maiden and didn't even get the kill quick enough. He had to get the full damage onto the CM if he wanted to make that play. So, fortunately for Empire, that's a very costly fight for them. And with that, things swing back the way of Team Secret. Arteezy gets a big boost to Goldie all down, has Ogre Club, sitting on 1300 HP. this build but a lot of this just kind of go kind of skip it and Absolutely now I see on the graph as well. Thanks to that fight, it has swung back in the favor of Secret. But at the moment, it's kind of been up and down, up and down like our heart rate monitor. It's it's very balanced, the swings between these games, and not yet to, to create a definitive lead. Mid lane Arts Easy will be able to find the deny onto the town. Well, S4 just run out some goo onto Roshan. I mean, with Secret's lineup, 
they could probably give it a shot, but they're not going to be able to take it down that quickly. I guess they, they've got a lot of ways to deal with Empire if they come and try and contest the Roche. I like, I mean, in your eyes, do you feel Secret are in the better position to go for a Roche? Um, probably not right now. They're not, it doesn't feel like no. they have enough of a lead. Bristleback is really good at it with the goo, but unless they can push out all three lanes, it's going to be hard to do so. But they have managed to take out all the tier one towers, which is where uh, Team Secret maybe could try and make their way in there with a, a lane, lane pressure. But Empire right now are going to keep on fighting, and that's where you know Empire, if you go missing off the map, will be making their way there quickly. And with Mech up on Resolution Shadow Fiend, he, he's in pretty good fighting shape. Here we go, Season Pub. They're going to start chipping away at the Roche, the side of Empire. We've got all four well, up here on the top. It is just silent on his own on the bottom lane. They're looking for a 2 one of their own. Now the TP's come back. Yeah, That's a they want to go here without the Storm Rocket. Mm -hmm. And the question is, can they, they're charging in. Empire, they're going to go balls deep here. They want to contest this one. The Onish has flying for as well. There's going to be a call down from Arto. Max Pop. The Death Wall coming out for the Silence, but the Crimson Guard is doing so much for the side of Secret. Both Silent and Yoku getting low. They do bring down Arteezy, but it looks like S4 with the Quill's praise. It should be enough to find Yoku and Silent as well. Silent trying to do it with the Bashes as well from Roshan helping out. Silent will fall as a double kill here for S4. Buybacks coming out from both Kuroki and Arteezy. Two heroes falling on the side of Empire and Resolution. Oh, he's got to be careful. The drums are popped by Arteezy. There's going to be the net as well. Missile flying forward as well onto the Shadow Fiend. He's got the mech, but he doesn't have a BKB. He tries to get out the Requiem, but the missile comes in just in time. Now he gets out the mech. The Death Requiem as well will fly through, but that is going to be three heroes down on the side of Empire Secret. Did use two buybacks and oh, Zai does get taken down here by the uh, the combination of Aloha Dance and always want to fly. But Secret will be the ones to find Roshan. They will get the Aegis onto the Bristleback. And at the end of the day, that fight recap, what kind of swing are we seeing? It was very even indeed, but obviously this doesn't take into account the fact that Secret did get Roche. So they did have that and slight edge. Right. And it's of course, it was still even on that, even with Secret that buying back through. twice. So they were able to re, you know, make back the, the gold that was expended as a team for those back. buybacks. Crimson Guard negated so much of the Death War damage, and Team Secret just have... Really good item timings right now. Now that was a, a fantastic timing window to go for Roshan. They just completed the mech on Naga Siren. Bristleback had just got the Crimson Guard recently, so a level 12, 13 Bristleback, a mech on the Naga Siren. They were so durable, so tanky during that fight, and uh, there was just not really the firepower on the Empire side to go through it. They need the BKB on Shadowfiend, it feels like, and this Shadow Blade build on the Juggernaut's nice for like scouting the map and finding solo pickoffs, but it's not designed to fight a 5v5 around the Roshan pit. There we go, Yoku. Might try and go for a bit of a cheeky pickoff here onto S4, but S4 pops the Invis Rune. And he's going to be fine, and maybe Secret can lose something off the back of this. They're smoked up. Silent will take the Rune here at the top. And S4 maybe looking to set something up with this Invis Rune usage now. Of course, the side of Vampire, they do know that he's popped it. Always want to fly. He might be in trouble. He's going to pop the cast out to illusions. S4 with the wraparound. Puppy's there as well. There's nowhere for this man to fly. He gets out the maledict, but it's not going to do anything. There's going to be a telekinesis from Aloha Dance trying to save the Witch Doctor, but the quill sprays are too much as S4 is able to take that kill for himself. Silent with the Shadow Blade. Maybe thinking about going on to Zai, but there's no mini stun. There's no mini stun, my friend. And Zai will be able to TP away from that Omni Slash. Oh, dear. No, oh, and while all that was going on, Arteezy solo killed the Spirit Breaker up top lane, so Secret going to transition into a tier 2 tower, and now they're going to start taking objectives. This is where Empire, they had that good start, but you lose one fight against Secret. It's not even about losing a fight against Secret, it's about Secret knowing when their lineup comes online, when they are strongest. They went for Roshan, and were, they, almost, they invited Empire to come in. Empire scattered them out with the Rocket Flare, and they continued to Roshan. They just knew that, hey, we just finished these core items, we just finished the mech, we just finished Crimson Guard, there's no way we're losing a fight. And even if they had to use a buyback or two, they made sure they won the fight, got Aegis, and now with Aegis, they just go around and take objectives. Ah, uh, Yoku, yeah, he's gonna cancel that one. Doesn't fancy running headfirst into this, and hello, it was eyes found, silent, silent. He'll do the old spin TP and get himself out mid lane. Might see some kickoff, telekinesis onto S4. Oh, 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 here we 
we go. Kuroki setting it up with a song. The cooldown comes out onto them all. They're going to rob the mech, trying to keep themselves alive here. The Soul stolen soul from Aloha Dance, saving the side of Empire, enabling them to get themselves back out to the high ground. It looks like Always Wanna Fly might be the only one to drop here. But that, oh, maybe they could turn it around. Yoku charging forward onto Artizi. The death was laid down. It will get cancelled straight away. They do lose the witch, Doctor. Everyone else, oh, oh, the cheeky telekinesis down to the bottom lane from Zai. Can they finish him up? He passed the blade mail, though. There's going to be the next strike coming through. Resolution trying to do the damage here with the room. It will be enough to bring it down. Poppy here, letting it go from the high ground. Yoku charges forward, able to cancel that one here. Sign up with the blade fury, trying to bring down Artizi, but he's just too tanky. S4 just going in, going ham with the quill sprays. They've taken down two. It's a two for one trade at the end of the day. And even with what looked like a very nice song steal into a, into a defensive maneuver, I mean, Empire, they just wanted to fight, but it, they, they just can't do it against Secret's lineup with the items that they've got. Yeah, S4 and oh. is just too strong right now. They're not down. They'll catch out on Loha Dance in the cooldown, and Yoki even charged into it. And with that, I think he's going to go down. S4 has an Aegis. He's designed to die here, and he's not even dying. Oh, the Omni Sash wow. comes through. We'll get to pick that up was some RNG. That was some serious RNG yeah. through through the creep wave, killing off Artur and Silent now. Dealing with keeping him alive, luckily, because S4 wants to chase and bring him down. S4 may still do so. Oh boy, Empire just getting walloped in their own base now. Yeah, and with that mech, S4 is not even going to lose the Aegis. Yes, it's oh, 24 to 23 now. And, uh, well, the gold graph won't have ticked in quite yet, I wouldn't have imagined. But we are now starting to see secrets certainly breaking away from the side. Let's have a look at the fiery cap, see if Volvo uh, are good this time. Yeah, that's, that's, I'll take that. That's a decent fiery cap. And we can see, yeah, 1k gold swing and uh, about 2k experience. I mean, these fights, it certainly feels like Empire, they're throwing everything at secret. But secret just seeming to have the slight edge each time. Yeah, and that's the thing. They're throwing everything in secret, and secret's throwing like maybe 80% back at Empire. They didn't have to use the Aegis that fight. They haven't even had the BKB on Gyrocopter yet in the team fight, and they're about to pick that one up. It's in Arteezy's stash, so feels like a lot of what secret are going to be bringing to the table hasn't even been brought yet. So that's where Empire are going to run into a lot more problems in these upcoming clashes. To be fair to Empire, they did just complete the BKB on Resolution, which will help out a bit, but... They've got physical damage coming out from the Bristleback. They've got a hookshot which can go through the BKB and cancel a potential Reckon. They've got Ensnare as well. They've got Song. They can sleep the rest of the team and focus the BKB Shadow Fiend. It feels like Secret have enough options to just play around the BKB of the Shadow Fiend while the same cannot Ooh. be said the other Poppy. way. Uh, he's going to back himself away. He just forced off himself out as well. There'll be a charge flying through from Yoku Empire. They're all smoked up. They want to find a fight here, and this will be a very nice fight if they can take it. He's going to cancel the charge. They doesn't fancy diving the tower. In fact, he's going to let Silent do that, going straight onto Puppy. They should be able to bring down the CM. No, he's going to hide in the trees. Now the TP's coming through. The song as well is going to get cancelled straight away because Puppy is going to need trouble from the battle for Blame for him. Artie's going in. The stolen song with the death ward onto Artie's. He's bringing it below the bashes as well for the nether strike. They take down the Jarakota. Now, here comes the Recreate on top of S4, the Omni Slash as well flying through. The guard agrees that they're popped by Kuroki. S4 trying to back off into the tree line. Zai, he's got the blade mail up, but it is going to be enough. Empire, they're trying to go in on the clock. Line. S4, he's on a godlike streak, though. He does take down Yoku, but Empire, they want to die for this one. They want to find S4 in the tree line, and they almost certainly will do. There's three, four of them here. They'll take down S4 as well. And what a fight for Empire, taking three of the heroes down. They do lose two, but that will maybe hang on. Hang on, Secret unhappy with this trade. They want to make it better for themselves. They're going to find always want to fly. Can they find anything more here? Look, Kuroki, he wants to go for more. Cogs will be stolen by Loyal. Does get popped down. Kuroki's got enough mana here for a net. But now Kuroki, maybe he's been off more than he could chew. He'll fall as well. And the fight, it continues to go on. We're sitting 27 to 27. Oh, oh, Zai, can he find this kill? Can he really find the kill onto Silent? He's got a four star. He's got the battery assault. No one else is there. Oh, the double cogs. Cogs on cogs. The cog blocking is real. Zai ends up getting four star down to the river. Will back himself away. But I've got to be honest, Empire, they're certainly giving it their best this game. And Secret, this is definitely the hardest oh, game for them out of this series man. so far. Caught the CM at the back line, then got everybody with that. The song still in the hands of Rubik was such a great setup for them as well, but it still, it felt like they only break even at the end of the fight, maybe get slightly ahead. They lose the Shadow Fiend again, though. Shadow Fiend went down to some really nice Kuro Naga Siren play. Naga 
Set, sent in some illusions to finish off the SF who was so low on HP and just really nice micro by Kuro helped secure that kill and that was going to be a big win for Empire. Once if it was Resolution who ended S4's godlike streak and then just barely got brought down by those illusions. So otherwise it would have been a fantastic fight for Empire. Still Resolution got a ton of gold out of the godlike streak. He's already picked up a Yasha post BKB so he's already starting to transition into a pretty scary late game Shadow Fiend. And we were talking about the swings in terms of net worth earlier, and here again, Empire, even though secret, they managed to get about 6, 7k ahead. Empire, they're bringing it back rounds into their favor towards that zero point. So yeah, I think we've got is, a very exciting game on our hands. Yeah, I don't think Brist Bristleback had a ton of money after his last fight or two, and he bought a BKB. I think he would have done better with maybe an SMY in that fight. There's a lot of physical damage coming out from the Death Ward, the Juggernaut Omni Slash. Um, you've got Spirit Breaker with his spells going through BKB. Shadow Fiend was just right clicking throughout that fight, so I feel like he would have benefited more from an S and Y in that fight rather than having the BKB. But because oh, uh, he took up. so much damage during that BKB. Is the song set up? It's only going to be on to always want to fly here, though. If they can find this, do Empire want to try and find this? They're just going to let this one go. So they're going to let this one go. Zai actually hook shotting straight forward onto Resolution. Manages to force himself out away from the center of that Requiem. And Resolution will simply TP out the net. Flying through just a little bit too late. But Secret are able to find themselves a kill there. And uh, Empire don't get anything in return, but they don't lose anything more. Yeah. Well, BKB charge on the SF, I guess, the main other thing. Like, down to eight seconds now, but... Uh, so at least uh, seem fairly healthy. Zai gonna catch up to Yoki here, and Yoki trapped in the cold with a blade mount. Clockwork, they're both blade mount up, but it's gonna be Zai who gets the worst end of that one. And in the low hard dance. Oh, he's trapped up here by the nets. They're gonna send the illusions through. Now, this is a bit of a rough point for Empire. There's two heroes down. We've got a full five mana secret. But it looks like secret, they don't maybe want to push S4. He's trying to take Rose down here, and it looks like the rest of the team will simply just back off to assist him. Yeah, I think a pretty fast Roshan respawn by the look of things, because it wasn't too long ago that S4 had an Aegis himself, so it'll be the second Roshan going Secret's way in. No chance of Empire contesting this one. They're too far away, it's already way too low, and this will be an easy pickup for Secret. And the Empire nowhere near at the moment to come for it, and, and the Haste Rune as well off the back of it. S4 indeed, as his Rune, he'll grab it for himself. And Arts Easy now finishing off the Shadow Blade this game that he opted for. Ooh, interesting little pickup. I think in, the big things here is the Radiant side do not have any detection. They have not, there's been no invis on the Dire side. You'd only have sentries for dewarding, so something you can get away with and use to get in and out of fights uh, quite effectively, and it's just going to kind of catch them by surprise. Oh, S4 trying to go and always want to fly. Silence being scattered as well. Puppy will be able to get him. He's going to be able to Manta style it off. And they head back to base. Empire keeping themselves safe and good. Although I don't know he's grabbed. That's the rocket flare. Okay, he's for the time being, which is... by the way. He's if he steals some ultis, he's pretty this game, rich. That's, yeah, it's gonna be a global cooldown. Um, I guess the the short cooldown on the on the clockwork hook shot. A CM freezing field could do a ton of damage. Yeah, if he gets the don't forget the that. Naga Siren axe. You know, what was that was the old the change the where it, uh, it heals them? Oh my yep, God, that indeed. To get that. That would be uh, some. I think that'll be the first time I've actually seen a Naga ult be used with the acronyms. As, have you ever seen a Naga build ult, uh, an Ags in competitive? Since, uh, I have since not, the patch? actually. That, no. that would be, that'd be a new for me. I've, I'm talking I about Ags house, that, uh... I remember reading and thinking, hmm. this sounds really super situational, but if the support Naga, like full position Naga, like Secret Bean doing, becomes popular, we could definitely see it maybe make an appearance. Oh, oh it's easy with the Shadow Blade just coming in close. Uh, but yeah, anyway, with the Agnims as well, always want to fly. He's very close to his also. He's uh, just the... I think he must have had it in the cover. I swear he had something else for it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I was... I, I could have sworn he had a staff of uh, wizardry, uh, but... Back of the fountain. Apparently yeah, I'm an back idiot. Back of the fountain, so... You know, you know, oh, okay. Good. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jotson on the floor. Okay, so yeah, he's just that one piece away from finishing it off. And uh, here we go. Homie Missile Imp from Artor. S4 and Arteezy ready to go. I mean, with the uh, Aegis, of course, on to Arteezy. This is the time to push, and it's certainly is the time for Empire to defend. They're bringing the forces back. Silent has got that army slash ready and waiting here. But as a secret, they're just standing on the high ground and chipping away at this tier three. Silent, maybe thinking about going in, but the physical damage here, just going through the Blade Fury, bringing them down to half health. 
And now there's your charge for Yoku. They want to go to Arteezy first. Out comes your cask here. Hello, I just wait for something good to steal. And oh, the song is going to keep Arteezy alive just. He should be able to get himself out. The Guardian grieves. Now the call down coming down onto resolution. Oh, Leo does. What's he stolen? No, he hasn't managed to find it. There's going to be a hook shot onto your Rubik. Zai going in with the blade mail here. Looking for the cage match. Silent trying to wake out with the blade fury. They're going to lose a low hard dance on the Rubik here. Puppy getting low. Charge from Yoku. Going straight forward. It's onto the illusions though. And Arteezy will drop, but he's got the Aegis here. He's ready for round two. A puppy with a freezing field. It's going to be a double kill for Arteezy. His resolution will fall. And this is two heroes all down on the side of Empire without buyback. This will be the middle back. It's almost silly going down. There's a fortification available. But with these two heroes down, Empire, they're going to have a hard job holding back the aggression of Secret. And this horse still has held on to his BKB throughout all of this as well. And that is a big problem. They just do not have a way to prevent this melee racks going down. No buybacks for the Shadow Fiend or the Rubik. And this is a Rubik with a lot of farm. They've really invested quite heavily. And see, they're going to look for a second set here, Silent. Still on the front, but with the Omni Slash already used, and oh, cheeky force stuff. Always want to fly, taking a miss, that's the face, puppy. Yeah, Silent's going to be able to manage that one off. And now the Rocket Barrage is coming through as well. As for thrown down the goose, going to get telekinesis up. Wolf Rabbit thrown down to the side. Yoki charging straight through onto the CM, but Kuroki, he's there with a the net. They're trying to bring down this Spirit Breaker, and they certainly will. That's going to be the Spirit Breaker going down. And now it looks like they might lose more. Arteezy moving forward here with the BKB. He wants to try and find this Witch Doctor Silent, and now Resolution CP in with the raises onto S4. So a fair bit of damage, and S4 will have to back himself away with the rest of the team but everyone keeping themselves alive here Kuroki just setting in illusions whittling away at this tier 3 and secret they want more Zai hook shots in onto a low hard dust the mech comes out for resolution it's not enough to save the Rubik your Rubik will go down resolution looks for the Requiem it will catch them here with the damage reduction but the damage itself not enough really to bring Esther a side of secret down that much and the tier 3 will almost certainly fall here and maybe the Rex as well again Empire in a position where there are two heroes down Silent even just denying that tower here because he realizes he's gone all oh, there we go Zonta with the call down onto three the Cox as well from Zai the Omni just will come out but Resolution goes down they've lost always want to fly Silent do what he can now Yoku coming through Secret they're all incredibly low Zai's popped Kuroki's they might lose Arteezy as well no the Shadow Blade's going to allow him to get out now Yoku's side they're actually cleaning up here very nicely three heroes down on the side of Secret they're going to lose Puppy as well almost certainly no forced to the high ground the charge is there though he's not getting out of this one CM will fall it's a double kill for Silent and the side of Empire, they don't lose the top set of racks here, and they're able to defend the base incredibly successfully. Let's have a look at that fight recap, as as we can see, a massive XP swing, 6,000 almost, and the gold change as well is about 4k secret, getting just a little bit too cocky there, gods. Indeed, and well, pickups from the side of Empire. What are we seeing from them after that one? Well, resolution just with the SMY and the BKB, which Doctor, of course, now does have the completed acronym. So it's going to be a Vlad's pickup for the Spirit Breaker. And as you were saying, Jug, with that Silver Edge and looking to build potentially what I imagine. I mean, does he go for Basher or MKB this game? I imagine he just goes for the Basher into the Abyssals, doesn't he, Silent? Secret smoking up. All the pings are coming out though. The side of Empire, they're gonna smoke straight past them. 
And they're going to the base. There's like, well, where's Empire? And Empire's like, well, we're not at home at the moment, I'm afraid. You have to leave a message after the tone. They are outside here by the river. They're going to look for the wraparound, and it looks like we're going to see a smoke on smoke coming from the backside. Silent onto Poppy. They bring down the CM. But now the song is going to buy them some time here. But oh, are they going to be able to do anything, though? The song's actually meeting this BKB from Arteezy. It's kind of useless. And now the death ward here coming down onto Zai. That's going to be your clock right down. Secret, they've lost two. They're going to lose three as well as S4 falls as well. Empire once again catching Secret off guard and secret just they're just falling apart this part of the game again another fight where the gold exchange 3,000 and coming out to 4k at XP these are massive swings for the side of Empire at this point 36 minutes into the game M Empire just taking the team fights better there they're getting so much value out of their supports the Rubik spell steals have been on point the death wards from always want to fly fight after fight he is dishing out more damage than the Shadow Fiend, it feels like, in every single team fight. I feel like if you look at the hero damage this game, Always Wanna Fly is matching up or outshining resolution here. And Silent, I mean, he's kind of reaching that critical mass where a Juggernaut is a big, big problem. So I, I really like to, I really love seeing this pick come from Empire's way because Silent just plays it and executes it so well. Here we go, Empire. They're going to try and do a bit of uh, structural damage of their own here, pushing onto the mid lane. Secret, they're going to have but in a couple of seconds. It's still a good 15 or so before S4 returns. But it looks like Empire, they're happy with the fights, but they're not yet confident enough to stick around for a high ground attempt. Yeah, they're going to hope for a Roshan to be maybe coming up soon. There is a DD rune waiting for them at bottom lane, but it's still a minute and a half before that Roshan respawn. Oh, hookshot four from the side, just off the creeps. Resolution is going to be able to keep himself safe, and worth noticing, of course, Aloha Dance after that last fight did manage to steal himself a hookshot of his own. So we'll have to watch uh, Aloha Dance as well for some clutch initiation potential for, for the side of Empire. But 34 35, secret. They've got to be careful here because Empire, they are looking incredibly scary. Yeah, the hookshot I think really nice as like an interrupt in a fight, but I don't think he wants to be initiating in because he has no escape. If he hookshots in, he's like hooking into his own oh, death. He's got no full stuff out. He just kind of gets stuck if he does that. But I think if you hookshot like as a count, like to use the stun effectively to kind of chain stun and look to burst down someone like the bristleback, like hookshot in on the bristleback, Jug follows up with the silver edge. You can kill that bristle very quickly. That's all right. I've, I've, I've done the same about 10 times. <laughs> I've, I've got the luxury that I can just, while I'm reconnecting, I tab out and watch the stream. Like, I've, I've caught maybe 14 fights in a row from the stream rather than from actually Dota 2, so... It's been a frustrating game, but so far, at least, I've, I've caught most of it. Most of it. Strap. Oh. Maybe. This Silver Edge is just demolishing S4 in these fights. It's making him look so much squishier when he loses that pass. He can't. Dan akhirnya perlahan tapi pasti tim Empire mulai mengejar ketinggalan God dari tim Secret dan tak kenapa God ngasih gue naik banget di sini.
Now that that hook shot in the last fight, as a counter initiation onto Arteezy, brings him down. That was the that was the play that won Empire that last team fight. And again, the Death Lords from Always Wanna Fly have been dishing out massive damage, and as a result, Secret have to focus on the Witch Doctor. And when you're focusing on the Witch Doctor, it means the Jug, the Shadow Fiend are getting a lot done. They, they're just wreaking havoc. Even Yoku on the Spirit Breaker is stunning a ton of heroes. He's died so many times this game on Spirit Breaker, but he's getting so much damage done. Cheeky. Oh. They're gonna keep on going and with buybacks on cooldown, this is such a risky fight for Secret to take. It's just pressuring the right now. Empire fully struck back into this game now. They even up the, the melee rack standard as least. They didn't get the rage racks, but they don't really care about that. They did lose their tier 3 top as well at some point, and uh, the tier 4 tower at mid doesn't really matter because Empire's team fight is just getting so scary and it's becoming too much to deal with, it feels like. And yeah, the song, it's not like, it doesn't feel like Secret can set anything big enough up with the song. The cooldown is not a, a team fight winning spell anymore. Like in the early game, the song into cooldown was brutal, but nowadays, it's just not really going to cut it. People just BKB as they come out of the song. And if anything, you're just setting up a nice death and death ward, a BKB Requiem, the Omni Slash. You don't really want to song and try fight into Empire in a 5v5 setting anymore like you once did. They're going to defend the throne race. They... Silence here. And Secret, I think, realizing they're in such a desperate position, they just went for the, the Rat Dota play. They went for the Alliance move. They said, let's just go straight for your base, straight for your home. Bristleback and Gyrocopter just went all in, and Silent had no TP. This was all very reminiscent of that Secret vs. Cloud9 game where no one had TPs. Luckily, there was enough Witch Doctor TP back, Spirit Breaker charged back, and Juggernaut, he ran all the way from the mid racks back to his base to defend an Omni Slash. He killed off the Gyrocopter with an Omni Slash. He was... He had to. If he didn't make that move, I think Secret may have just gone for the throne and been able to win the game. But good decision making from Empire. As soon as they saw the two heroes in their base, they immediately made the retreat. And Juggernaut also responds to this by buying boots of travel. So he has that global teleportation now to deal with the split push.
I think they saved the song. I think he wants to use it defensively. Dan GG call, akhirnya tiba-tiba gue udah nge nih GG call ini Dan congratulations buat tim Empire berhasil mengambil satu angka Dan kita akan lanjut ke game keempat Apakah tim Empire bisa memenangkan game keempat dan memaksa Secret buat bermain ke game kelima Dan di game kelima apakah tim Empire bisa kembali untuk memenangkan Pertandingan kali ini stay tuned dan jangan kemana-mana Tetap masih bersama gue, Dias Migo dan Point of Evil